let's have a look at the organonuclear reagents for organic synthesis. In my previous videos, I have briefed you on organochromium reagents that synthesis the various reactions uh, which it, uh, is, uh, in which it is used. Now, in this video, we shall have a look at the organonuclear reagents, the synthesis of different organonuclear reagents. Now, organonuclear reagents are those compounds which has nickel-carbon bond. There will be a nickel-carbon bond in the organonuclear reagents. So most of the organonuclear reagents are short-lived intermediates, that is, they will be produced in situ during the organic synthesis. That is, they will be produced, generated within the reaction pot during the reaction. There are various uses for organonuclear reagents, particularly they are used as catalysts, they are used as building blocks, they are used in the vapor, chemical vapor deposition. Now, when we talk about they are used as building block, they are used for CC bond formation, carbon-carbon coupling, etc. Now, the first organonuclear compound developed was nickel tetracarbonyl. Nickel tetracarbonyl was uh, reported in 1890 and it was applied in the Mons process for the purification of nickel. But there are various reactions uh, which are helped by the organonuclear reagents like alkene alkyne oligomerization, carbon carbon bond formation, epoxidation, carbonylase, carbonylation, the Schupp process, the shell higher olefin process, etc. We will be discussing in the uh, in detail regarding these the role of nickel organonuclear compounds in these reactions in the upcoming videos. Now let us take up nickel tetracarbonyl and I see you four times. Now as I said earlier, this was the first organonuclear uh, compound or reagent developed. Now there are various ways of preparation of nickel tetracarbonyl. Like uh, you pass carbon monoxide over finely powdered nickel uh, at a particular temperature, so say 60 degrees centigrade, you get nickel tetracarbonyl. Another method of preparation is using uh, passing uh, carbon monoxide over nickel iodide in the presence of copper. You get again nickel tetracarbonyl, and the role of copper is to quench or take up the halogen, halide, iodide, you get copper iodide. In another method of synthesis of nickel tetracarbonyl, you pass carbon monoxide over nickel sulfide. You get nickel tetracarbonyl and sulfur. And also if you pass uh, uh, carbon monoxide over nickel cyanide, you get nickel tetracarbonyl. So these are the various methods of preparation of uh, nickel tetracarbonyl. Now the nickel tetracarbonyl is uh, toxic because of its low melting point and poor thermal stability. It vaporizes easily and inhalation of uh, nickel tetracarbonyl will, uh, is carcinogenic when you are exposed to uh, nickel tetracarbonyl over a long time, uh, it may cause cancer. Now, since nickel tetracarbonyl as was found to be toxic, another reagent was developed which has got similar uh, role in organic synthesis as that of nickel tetracarbonyl and that is bis-cyclooctadiene nickel zero, bis-cyclooctadiene nickel. Now, as the name suggests, there are two cyclooctadiene. Let's see what the structure is of this particular compound. Now, this is the way we uh, write this cyclooctadiene nickel zero and I COD twice. COD stands for cyclooctadiene. Now, this in this compound, the nickel is coordinated to an alkene. Okay, in the earlier compound, it was coordinated to carbon monoxide. In uh, this cyclooctadiene nickel, nickel is coordinated to an alkene. So the bond will be between the nickel and the carbon of the alkene. So this is the structure of uh, NiCO2. You can see these are the two 
cyclooctadiene rings and it is to this uh, alkene and alkene path that nickel is coordinated. Now, this in this particular complex, nickel has got zero oxidation state and uh, this particular complex is use, used as a catalyst and as a precursor for many other nickel compounds. Now, actually this particular compound has been replaced, has replaced nickel tetracarbonyl because of the toxicity of nickel tetracarbonyl. Now, this particular complex is prepared by the reduction of anhydrous nickel to acetyl acetonate in the presence of diolefin. Here, diolefin is the octadiene. So, this is the reaction which is uh, uh, used for the synthesis of uh, NiCOD twice. You have the anhydrous nickel to acetyl acetonate here. This is the diolefin or the cyclooctadiene and it is uh, the reaction is carried out in the presence of triethyl aluminium. You get the complex here, nickel complex here. So, this is a useful uh, organonickel reagent. So, instead of nickel carbonyl, you can always go for this particular reagent. This is not toxic. Another complex nickel uh, uh, organometallic com compound is nickel allyl complex where a nickel is coordinated to the allyl compound. We have got different types of nickel allyl complexes like allyl twice Ni2Cl2 that is nickel uh, chloride and allyl complex between nickel chloride and allyl complex between nickel bromide and allyl. Uh, another complex here you have uh, uh, two bond uh, two C uh, NIC linkage that is one between Ni and allyl and uh, and here you have penta uh, cyclopenta compound, pentadiene compound. So, this is also linked. Here also you have a NIC bond. And in this particular uh, complex, the nickel has got plus 2 oxidation state and uh, these complexes are good sources of allyl nucleophiles. Allyl, can, allyl nucleophiles can be generated from this nickel allyl complexes. Now, these compound complexes are prepared by treating allyl halides with nickel tetracarbonyl. Okay, so the you will get pi allyl complexes. And this is the structure of uh, nickel allyl complex. Here you can see here nickel halide and uh, nickel is coordinated to the allyl carbon. So, here uh, this, is, this is the allyl 2, Ni2, Br2. So, here you have the allyl groups. So, you are treating the nickel carbonyl with uh, allyl halide. So, it is like the nickel is getting inserted between the allyl and the halogen part to form a pi complex. Now, this, this particular complex is also used for the uh, various organic synthesis. Another or nickel organometallic reagent is cyclopentadienyl complexes, nickelocene. Now, this is similar to our ferrocene. Okay, Here the nickel is sandwiched between two cyclopentadiene uh, moieties and it is represented as NiCp2. Cp stands for cyclopentadiene. This is the structure of uh, nickelocene. Uh, which is a cyclopentadiene complex. The uh, nickel is uh, coordinated to two cyclopentadiene moieties. Again, okay, the same similar structure is for uh, ferrocene also. Now, like our nickel allyl complex, here also the nickel has got plus two oxidation state. Nickel is in the plus two oxidation state. Now you can generate various other cyclopentadiene derivatives from nickel or C. Of this, this particular uh, compound that is nickel, nickel cyclopentadiene and uh, uh, nitrosyl, it is called cyclopentadienyl nickel nitrosyl, cyclopentadienyl nickel nitrosyl. This is produced by reacting nickelocene with nitric acid. This particular compound is highly toxic, so it's better you don't synthesize this or. Uh, 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 don't use this for any organic synthesis. 
Now, this is the general reaction for the synthesis of uh, nickelocene. You, uh, you, uh, you have to treat it with hexamine nickel chloride, okay, you, and uh, sodium uh, cyclopentadiene, and you get uh, the nickelocene here. All right, so this is uh, another uh, uh, organonickel reagent. Now the last organonickel reagent we'll be discussing is the nickel carbene complex, wherein the, uh, a nickel carbene bond is formed. This, this, this particular compound complex has C double bond and I. In all other cases, we had C single bond and I. Here, in nickel carbene complex, we have C double bond and I. So this uh, is also used in few organic uh, synthesis. And this is synthesized by this particular carbene complex is synthesized by three, uh, passing nickel tetracarbonyl over this compound. Okay, over the alkene. So you get the nickel carbene. So this, uh, these are few uh, organonickel reagents which are used for organic synthesis. In the coming videos, we shall be discussing the various reactions, synthetic reactions, uh, which involves the use of all these organonickel reagents. So, if you have any clarifications to be done, please feel free to ask me. Thank you.